sorry guys what's up it is me Erica with artist till death and today I am going to show you one of my favorite types of oceans but with a little bit of twist because I had so many of you yesterday say that you really liked the wave that went forward and so I'm gonna second layer this one with a wave that goes forward because you guys liked it yesterday anyways I hope you enjoy this is not live it's pre-recorded so stay tuned cameras that I wanted so two seconds that's better ish hold on I'm okay just have to fix this Ugh, to look more like this I thought I was gonna be more prepared today but allegedly and apparently I'm not shocker it's fine so if you've never seen me do one of these oceans I'm going to be using the Speed Cure by Stone Coat Countertops. It is brand new. You can get it from StoneCoatCountertops.com and use my code YALL, Y-A-L-L, -L, all caps, no punctuation. Um, or you can get it also from RK3 Designs. I think she's getting it in on the 24th. But anyways, you should get it. It's pretty awesome, but you have to work kind of quick, so it's definitely not a beginner epoxy. So let me zoom this camera out just slightly so you guys can see more of what I'm doing. That looks pretty good. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. So here we are. This is the turtle. I did the first layer, I don't know, a while back. So now I'm going to go in and do our second part. So I'm taking some clear resin. It's just regular clear. And I'm putting it in front of the wave that I have down right now. Maybe I'll bring some up right there. Uh, if you don't know my ocean style, I always put some clear down. And that's going to kind of dictate how my wave goes, the shape of it. And it also separates the blues from the whites so that you don't end up with like a pastel colored blue. Now this is turquoise gel tint from Color Passion. Looks like this. It actually looks more like this. It's got more of that bright aqua looking color to it. But there's no sparkle in it. So what I'm gonna do today, I haven't done this before. So first time for everything. I'm gonna put some Marabou alcohol ink in there. This is just super sparkly. It's not gonna give us any effects, I don't think. Just make sure you shake it up a whole lot. I have all these colors listed down in the description box under this video. Typically, I tell people not to add any alcohol inks to your pieces because they're not light fast, color fast. It means they're going to fade eventually. Some colors fade really quickly. Oh, sorry about that. But since this is more of a suspended particle, um, I don't have to worry about it fading. So I'm putting just a little bit of sparkles in here. Who doesn't love just a little bit of sparkle? I'm going to go ahead and put this out because... I'm using speed here and it is already getting a little bit warm. With the speed cure, it cures up in like four hours, but that also means you're gonna have a reduced working time because of that. So just be advised. This is the aqua from Color Passion Gel Tint. I'm gonna put a couple of drops of this marabou in there. Um, it is the Rainbow Marabou if you have some Marabou at home. If you don't, like I said, you can get it from my website, artisttodeath.com. I have it linked already down in the description box under this video. I don't have that many, so if you're thinking about it, just go ahead and get it because it's amazing. But I haven't tried it, like I said, in Oceans yet, so we're going to find out together if we like it and whatnot. I know this piece does not look amazing right now. Trust the process. So... Now what I'm doing is just making sure that everything is got some resin on it. 
I'm not worried that much about the look, the flow of it at this point, other than to make sure my dark ocean colors are where I want my deep water and the light ocean color is where I want my shallow water. It is a translucent. I like to use translucents with my oceans because water's clear. Therefore, I feel like my resin should be clear. That's not everybody's mindset when they do oceans, but that's mine, and so that's how I do my oceans. Sweet, so we have everything filled in. Yeah, yeah, okay, except for right here, because I think I may try to add some white right here. No, I'm not, it's fine. So since it is translucent, you can see that first layer through to this layer. I'm not gonna waste too much time because I'm definitely on the clock with this product. I am using Top Cell White by Color Passion for my cells as well. Hey, gummit. I started doing this like I usually do oceans instead of the other way. <sighs> okay, let's think. I guess we're just gonna have to do it the old way to ocean. We'll just add a second layer to this one and then maybe for the next live I'll do a big, a big one like I just was talking about. So stay tuned for tomorrow's live. Sorry about that. It's all right, we'll add a couple extra waves in here with this one. I'm just gonna bring you guys down a little bit closer so you can see kind of more of this process. Okay, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use the heat gun attachment. Actually, you guys asked me more about the platypus attachment. So I guess I'm going to use it. I'm going to take my attachments off right now without using a rag because my heat gun hasn't been on. All right, so I'm using high heat and high airflow. I'm just going to pre-pop some bubbles, make sure I have nothing floating in the surface. really like what that marabou looks like. But I'll zoom you guys in in a minute and you can tell me what y'all think. Okay. I'm going to tilt it up a little bit, like I always do. I'm going to preheat in the front just slightly. And then as soon as it starts flowing and moving, I'm going to back off. I'm going to push this one this way. These waves can kind of come together a bit. Catch a wave, and then catch a wave, and catch a wave. If you find that your resin is going a little bit too slow, just preheat right in front of it. And that'll help it to kind of be more motivated to move forward. Now I have this little task of this little foot over here. I'm just trying to tie those in. Okay, I'm just gonna further stretch all this backwards. Stretch that bit way back. Okay. I like to use my face to kind of blur the edges sometimes. Doesn't always work. Please don't pass out if you try that at home. I'm gonna tilt everything back forward a little bit. Back forward. Sometimes words are hard, and that's okay. Okay. So, this is what he looks like, and I like it. I just, 
feel like there's not a whole lot happening over here. So I think I'm gonna have to add some white over here, which is fine. To do that, I'm gonna have to make sure the white kind of is on the edge of the piece so that it will stretch. Cause if I don't do that, it's just gonna roll over everything and just stretch down like all this did. And we want it to kind of grab on. So I kind of like iced the edge a bit right here. You can see it's kind of dribbling over. Now this process is just like the last one. So I'm gonna preheat it a bit. I'm just gonna push it a little. It's not gonna take much to get it to move. And it doesn't have that far to travel. So Waves on the face, waves on the face. All right, I think I like it. Um, I'm gonna do a true color video so you guys can see what this bad boy looks like up close. I'm gonna go ahead and film that real quick because you guys know that if I don't do it right now, then it won't Until you see that marabou sparkle. Oh, it's so nice. Oh my goodness, I can't wait till you guys see it, this piece with the marabou in it. Canvas is coming through. She says, hero. Okay. So, I am going to, I don't know if I can add, I don't think I can add this into my pre-recorded video. Like the sparkle looks just like it does when you're looking like at the ocean from higher up. It looks like little twinkle lights. I love it. Okay. Okay. So thank you guys so much for watching and seeing what I'm up to today. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I completely didn't go according to plan for this piece, but hope you were inspired, educated, entertained. I mean, it only took 13 minutes. I will link all the colors down in the description box below this video if you're interested. Um, you can use code ATD on my website, artistildeath.com. Nope, yep, nope, right there. Doo, doo, doo. Um, if you wanna get 5% off. Anyways, hope you guys have a great evening. Be kind to one another, because you never know what someone's going through. And always remember that we do the test so you don't have to. Sorry I'm not live today. I've got a million and one things I've got to do to try to get my car back. Don't ever let your transmission go out. Period. That's it. That's my only advice. Anyways, we'll see you guys tomorrow at 6 p.m. Central. But till then, bye. The pups and Jeff also say bye. Please say bye.